Hello, my little co-hides. Hope you're all doing well. I am your host, Tyrannosenpai, and welcome to another Beast of the Mesozoic Tyrannosaur series and Ceratopsian series news video. You like my little intro there? You like you like how I called you guys co-hides? But anyway, today we got some news that I want to go over. I am so sorry for the Beast of the Mesozoic hiatus. Jurassic World Evolution 2 just kind of took over everything, but now I'm coming back. So here we go with some more news. We got some new sculpts, new box art, and the reveal of a limited edition Triceratops that's going to be coming up. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with our first bit of news. Our first bit of news is about the Changesaurus Sinensis. As the final um, paint has been applied to the figure itself. And gee, mini Christmas. This is definitely one of the most vibrant Tyrannosaurs I've seen. We got pinks, reds, blues, oranges, golds, blacks. Just a huge array of color just bing bang in your face. It looks really cool. I imagine that this is going to be um, around the same size as the juvenile T-Rex and the Teratophonius. We're looking at like a 14 inch figure or something like that here. Um, the color inspiration, if I remember correctly, is based on the Malaysian coral snake, which really doesn't look like a coral snake at all. Look, it, it looks just like this, but with a snake instead of a dinosaur. Um, it's really cool looking, and I imagine that there aren't very many more Tyrannosaurs left to paint in terms of the prototypes. We, we are still waiting for Proceratosaurus, Moros... Al Electrosaurus and I think Susky Tyrannus. I don't know if there are any others that I'm missing, but I'm pretty sure we got um, those four left. There could be a potential um, Tyrannosaur I'm forgetting. If I do, editing me will make sure of it. But anyway, I really like the look of this Teratophonius. I think it looks really cool. Again, this is a dinosaur that probably won't end up on my collection, but even so, I highly recommend getting this figure. And of course, um, I should mention that I will be doing a tier list for all the figures that we'll be seeing once they're all sculpted and all the prototypes have been painted. We'll go ahead and do that. So that's something you can look forward to. Our next bit of news is regarding the Tarbosaurus Batar, as the box art for this dinosaur has now been completed. And may I just say, this looks amazing. The individual scales on the Tarbosaurus, the low-hanging fog, the silhouette of these plants, and the conifer trees in the background, and the cloudy sky. This is a really cool-looking piece of art. And, the, and then you have, like, palm trees down here, and some ferns popping out of the ground, and, like, a marsh here at the bottom. I gotta admit, this is one of my favorite uh, pieces of box art from Beasts of the Mesozoic so far. It is right up there. Again, Tarposaurus is one of those that's just going to be way too big for me to keep in my on my desk. I still want to make myself a shelf. I do have space for one. But I don't think I'd be able to squeeze a 27-inch and a 20-inch figure together on the same shelf. Um, especially because they're so similar. I don't think I want to have um, the Tarbosaurus taking up that much space if it looks somewhat like the T-Rex. Again, it still looks really cool. I gotta admit, this is, this is a pretty cool looking piece of art. I love it. Then we have a little bit of news regarding the Teratophonius. As the prototype has also been painted. It kind of reminds me of the juvenile t-rex from the lost world jurassic park jr the way that its body proportions are made the really long legs the short snout um very muscular front limbs it, it reminds me of that in many ways now that i look at it uh we can see all kinds of colors we got reds blacks grays whites pinks for the mouth uh white for the teeth browns along the body kind of like this weird i don't know what this is like a like a very tan pink color which we can also see here on the thigh and some gray here along the tail it looks really cool again it's going to be probably one of those 20 
not 20 inch frick uh 14 inch finger figures alongside the changesaurus and electrosaurus so it's going to be another one of those medium tyrannosaurs um i think it looks really cool overall again it might not be one i get but still that's a pretty decent looking tyrannosaur and here we also have another shot of it of it with um i'm not sure what all these ceratops things are we got nasudoceratops uh cosmoceratops and i'm not sure what this last one is i'm pretty sure editing me will also put that in post but these are all dinosaurs found in the exact same formation whether or not they lived in the exact same time period i don't know but if they did three ceratopsians and one tyrannosaur jesus also, I'd like to point out the fact that Teratophonius was originally going to be in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Potentially the thing that um, was replaced by the Allosaurus. But I think it ultimately got cut. But I think it would have been pretty cool to have Teratophonius around. Especially now that Nasutoceratops is in uh, Jurassic World's uh, film canon. It's still pretty cool. Not gonna lie. But it, again, it's just one of those Tyrannosaurs I might not end up getting. And that's all the news regarding the Tyrannosaur series, but let's take a brief moment to talk about the Ceratopsian series. As this Triceratops has recently become the talk of the town. It is obviously the adult Triceratops, as we could tell by the horns and the smoother looking frill on the top of its head. What makes it special is that it's green. This kind of reminds me of the Incredible Hulk, but without the purple pants. I don't know how to feel about this. It, to me, I don't really like the fact that it's all just green, dark green, and then a lighter shade of green, and a potential gray along the stomach, and the bright green toenails. I don't know. I mean, the sculpt looks cool, but the paint application... I'm not sold on it, to be honest, but that's my opinion. You could, you could take it or leave it. But anyway, the reason why this Triceratops exists is explained by David Silva himself. Following up on the recent reveal from Legion's Con, here's a clear look at the upcoming green adult Triceratops, which as many of you know, is an homage to the Binatops figure from the original Masters of the Universe toy line. Pre-order and release dates are not yet determined. But I can say that it's planned for a fall 2022 release and will likely be a limited run of 1000. Also, this release will bridge the Beasts of the Mesozoic and Cyberzoic lines and will include interchangeable green and silver horns. Expect more info on this exciting figure in the months to come. So this figure here is going to be what ties Beasts of the Mesozoic in with Cyberzoic and it is based on an old figure that did once exist. Again, Cyberzoic, I'm not really looking forward to it all that much, but it looks like it's a it's a creative step, and the fact that he is reusing a Beast of the Mesozoic sculpt for this, eh, I, I can dig it. I can dig it. But anyway, guys, that's really all the news I have to cover for today. What are your thoughts on this green Triceratops that apparently we're going to be getting? Also, what are your thoughts on the new Teratophonius, uh, now fully painted, the Tarbosaurus box art, and the Changesaurus now being fully painted? Let me know what you guys think all in the comments down below. But anyway, guys, that's where I'm going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it, my little co-highs, leave a like, subscribe today, hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything new. Link to the Discord in the description down below. And until next time, this is Tyrannus by signing off. Alrighty then, take care now. Bye-bye then.